Hey guys, Spark here from Bow and Blade Films, and today we're going to be looking at the Simple Wars 2 plugin mod. Stupid me. Um, this adds a bunch of ores to Minecraft, and they can create different types of armor, swords, OP weapons, and so yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so our first ore right here is Argonite, and there are no, there are no, there's no armor for this, but it does 7 plus stack damage, just to see, um, I have the MCA, sorry, sorry if she looks pretty, I should be able to change this, be right back. Okay, so I didn't want to kill a pretty girl, I know that's stupid, but I changed it to this ugly boy, and I'm about to kill him, so let's see how much damage it does. Eight, seven plus, plus your fist. So, that's done, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is bronze, and um, this looks like this. It looks pretty cool for like fighting or something, if you want to go to a Minecraft server um, that has like fighting, maybe you should make them download this mod, and you could do a server like fighting with bronze, like knights, and... Let's do test out how much damage it does. Huh. Oh crap. Oh, they're spawning in a lot. Um. Okay. So. You ready to see the next one? Okay, so the next one is Fire Rate. Right? This will set things on fire if you hit. So, he will get set on fire and it will take 8 damage. Let's get rid of him. And, no, I don't want to kill a child, but, too bad. So, um, I put the pickaxe in here for a good reason. If you go to game mode zero, I'm going to mine itself with itself. So, bam. Auto smells when mining. Usually it would drop your ore, of course. And the armor looks fiery. It's fireite. So, I guess it's supposed to be fiery. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is copper. It's just a bit weak, but um does six damage. Not too much. Um so I wouldn't recommend doing this in a fight. I mean like Star Armor would be great, but I would not recommend going like fighting a huge boss with it. I mean like that would be really stupid. Maybe you could use this for a starter kit, like if you have a mini game or something like that. That would be pretty neat. And let's go to the next one. Okay, um, of course, the next one is tin. Tin and copper also have to be in this mod. Copper's there, tin, tin, copper. Hee <laughs> hee, get it? Boom. Always together. What? Q and U. Now, this looks pretty cool. I like it. My favorite color is gray. I don't know why, but that's just my favorite color, so don't judge me. Um, this, I don't need to show it, but it does six attack damage. But it does 5 plus because it does plus sword and hand damage. You know what I mean? So, this would be pretty cool, again, for a starter kit. But it's more, um, it's more, um, durable and useful than copper. So, I think this should be the second kit up. You could fight a boss with it, but it would be really hard. And, yeah. So, let's go to the next one. This one's called, um... Malachite and set bonus. There's a set bonus. You can jump two blocks instead of one. So I can just jump over this. Bam. And this kind of bam. Um jump. It's fun jumping over things. LOL. Beam. Bam. 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 So high. I'm like a rabbit. Well a rabbit can't jump that high actually. I've never seen one. Okay. So Let's move on to Synthesite. Okay, this one is the best one in the whole mod, because in Origin, it would give you 1.4 armor bars full, and it's pretty OP. So it does 12 plus attack damage, which is basically 13. And there's also a bow included with this. Hmm. I mean, they had to involve a bow if it was overpowered. I mean, so it is... Plus damage and knockback. So, damage. Oh my gosh. That is OP. 
Okay, I had to get a moment of silence because I was just too overpowered there. Um, the sword. Uh, I may have to show you this because it's insane. Thirteen damage. Man, he's fat. Yeah. So enough with the fatness of the villager. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is pretty cool. It's Thyrium. It's the second best in the whole entire mod. I just think it's awesome because the way it looks. Oh my gosh, right? It's just. And it does 10 plus attack damage, has an awesome bow, plus damage, plus zoom. As you can see, it zooms pretty far. So you zoom a bit more than a regular bow. Let's just go get a bow here. And, nope, not as far. And then this one, pretty far. So, let's go ahead and, actually, no. This will be good for a third or fifth kit as a server. If like zombie survival or PvP, I mean it's epic and I think Cenocite should be sixth. And it should be more expensive each time. So this would be great for a PvP server. Now this one is called Ashstone. I know you saw this thing, or if you didn't you're blind, but no offense. So... In my, the, the pickaxe, I included it for a special, really special reason. You never believe what this does. It mines super fast. Oh crap, I'm, I'm not even on, I'm not even on survival. It mines super fast. And, but it has 900 durability. I know that because I used to have the dura on it. And, it, I would not use this for a boss, just saying. No armor. Nah. The next one is found in the nether. It's one of the nether rocks, so I forgot to mention that I'm putting nether rocks and simple ores too in this together. So, um, this is from the nether. It's found in glowstone patches. And the set bonus is no fall damage. So if you have a full set, no fall damage, you can be an acrobat all you want. So then... It blinds and slows the targets on hit, and night you get night vision. So let's go ahead and set it to night. Okay. And then we'll add... Okay. So... Uh -huh. There we go. There's Cam. And it gives me night vision, but it gives him blindness and slowness. Let's go ahead and kill all these freaks. Okay, I killed them all, and that was just... Look at all the chat. Ugh. And you can turn it off if you get in CA. But, let's go ahead and move on to the third best ore. This is an extreme ore. It can... It does 12 plus attack damage, and it goes over Diamond Arbor Bar. And it's just... I like it. We... My sis and I search for it all the time in the nether. If you've seen our survival series yet, we just had another video where we got trapped and tried to escape and everything. But I think you should really look for this. And it's really camouflaged in the nether. And I'll show you why. Never. Nether. Okay, um, I'll show you why. Okay, so this is why it looks camouflaged. Um, you, you walk right over it sometimes. I mean, um, it's like so camouflaged. It's worse than, oh my gosh. I don't even know what. Okay, so let's move on to different ores. This is, um, Onyx. And this is another row, because none of these lonely ores could fit into that. Be otherwise, they made dub chests, and I don't want those. So this is Onyx. Really powerful armor. It goes, not as good as Cinecite, but it goes 1.2 armor bar. And 9 plus attack damage. So... I like this ore. I like getting a Dragonstone Sword and Onyx Armor. And, and it's pretty common in the nether, so I don't have to wish you luck on finding this. Okay, now the next one is like Diamond. It does a it's like, it has the same armor as Iron, I think, but Sword does a 7 plus, just like um, Diamond. And it's in between Iron and Diamond for rareness. So. It's pretty cool. And I think we should move on to the next one. This next one is adamantium. It's as it does a it has um 
0 0.9 iron armor bar, and it's sort of as good as um, diamond. It's a little bit more rare than mithril, but you have to go deeper, too. So, in case you guys were wondering what this stuff is, it, this is a fusion furnace. It is used, it is used to make cenocyte, dirium, and what was that other ore? What the freak is it? Bronze. Okay, so bronze, you know what you know what that is made of. That's made of copper and tin. Now redstone will be used as fuel, so will coal. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the furnace. <coughs> Okay, so while they're smelting, I think this guy did a really good job on this mod and made the the dragonstone overpowered. I really like the overpowered things. Overpowered like chicken chest. I'm not a big fan of that mod, but I will showcase it anyway. But I won't add it to my survival series. Okay, so I already did it, and it gives us a large bronze chunk. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? It's used to make a bronze ingot. So if I get a crafting table and I place it put it in there oh crap why did it not make a that's confusing hold on I'm gonna look up how to do it bronze let me look down here hmm it doesn't say I think you have to smelt it aha so it will eventually make up a bronze ingot. Okay, so the next one we have is mithril and adamantium. And then you probably don't know or do know. I don't know because I said probably do know or don't know. I'm so stupid sometimes and smart sometimes. Like, if um, it's really slow, the fusion furnace, but... It's worth it because the stuff is overpowered that what you get left. So this will make a small thyrium trunk chunk. And you need nine, um, not nine, but I think actually you need six or nine. So let's look. Thy, thyrium chunk. You need five in that shape to make a thyrium ingot with what it makes so this made a bronze ingot of course this would make a thyrium ingot so I don't need to show you that um, and let's move on to the next one okay so this one is mithril and onyx and I don't know why it's not working huh I'm gonna diagnose this okay so I figured out you had to use a gas tier for the fuel as this one and it would actually make a large chunk, I think. So you need actually onyx and mithril, and then yeah. So while this is smelting, we will move on to these. These don't take up as much fuel, so the fuel lasts longer in these. As you can see, the onyx furnace it was lasting forever when we set it off. And then these are just bars: this copper, tin, mithril, adamantium, and onyx then this copper door and iron onyx door and these act just like iron doors so let me just prove it here not many people will believe me would they i know you would and where's the stone oh we can just type in butt and it'll give us a button but okay Ugh. just like an iron door and there's still nothing special about this one except for it's orange for those of you like who like orange, this is a great mod for you. <laughs> Get orange doors. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod. This is a really interesting mod. I think you should really download it. It's just, I kind of like it. It's really interesting. And the stuff in it, it's just overpowered some of it. And I really enjoyed it. So, see you guys later. And bye.